In this video, I'll be showing how to make a large foam rocket and launcher that can be fired using hairspray. To start this project, I'll first be building the launcher for our rocket. The supplies required start with 18 inches of 3 inch diameter pressure rated PVC pipe and one 3 inch diameter PVC end cap. We will start by taking the end cap and attaching it to the pipe using plenty of PVC primer and cement. Additionally, we will need some form of ignition for the launcher. Two acceptable forms of ignition are a piezoelectric barbecue igniter as shown on the left, or a flint and steel lantern striker as shown on the right. If you choose to use the push button barbecue igniter, you will also need two long self-tapping screws to act as the electronic terminals for the spark. A flint lantern striker can be a simple option for ignition as it can be quickly installed simply by inserting the brass shaft through a hole in the PVC wall and then tightening the head back onto it. To ignite the launcher, the head on the striker is given a sharp twist which sends out a flaming hot burst of sparks. The advantage to using a grill igniter is that the wires can be extended for remote ignition. This sort of igniter will also still function if the inside of the launcher becomes wet. If the flint becomes wet on the lantern striker, it will need to be dried before it will fire. For this igniter, we will need two self-tapping screws inserted into the launcher so that their tips come about a quarter inch apart at the center. This is where the spark will jump across and ignite the fuel. These screws should be installed into the side of the end cap at the bottom of the launcher. Before they are completely tightened down, the end of the wires coming from the igniter are tightened onto them. With the ignition installed, the launcher is now completed. It's now time to move on to the rocket. The main body of the rocket is cut out of a foam camping pad which is available at most sporting goods stores. The fins of the rocket are cut out of a piece of the same foam. We start by cutting a strip off of the foam pad just barely wide enough that it will reach itself when wrapped around the 3 inch pipe. The foam is wrapped around the pipe and held together by either duct or packaging tape. One long length of tape is laid down the split in the tube and then several wraps are made all the way around it in order to secure it together permanently. The rocket body can now be pulled off of the pipe to finish it off with a nose cone and fins. The best item to use as a nose cone for a rocket of this size is a 2 liter soda bottle. The top half of the bottle is all that will be used so the bottom can be cut off. This could now function as the nose cone just as it is. To make it look a little nicer we can cut the top section off and then fill the remaining hole with the old cap and some hot glue. With the nose cone now looking as it should it can be slid over the end of the rocket tube and taped in place. You can see now that the only thing that is needed to complete the rocket is a set of fins. The fins can easily be cut out of the foam pad and do not need to be a specific size or shape. The fins should be glued to the back of the rocket on a slight angle so that it spins as it rises into the sky. This spin will stabilize the rocket and allow it to fly straight. The rocket is now completed and ready to fly.
To fire this rocket, a can of flammable hairspray is taken and sprayed into the launcher for about four seconds. The rocket is then slid over the launcher and the ignition is pressed. Thanks for watching another one of my videos. Please comment, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. I enjoy reading all of your comments, and please keep up the suggestions for future videos.